social work is still happening. Um, we're still interacting with our clients. Uh, but we are finding new and innovative ways to do that. As an investigative social worker, my job uh, consists of um, assessing homes, interacting with uh, the public, with families specifically, and I'm looking at um, trying to investigate to see if there's any abuse or neglect um, of the children. With the coronavirus, it does make it difficult. Uh, one thing I do want to make sure, and the county wants to make sure, is that not only are we protecting ourselves as workers, but we're also making sure that the public is safe. Um, this is like what I call my field kit that I take with me. And the county has been providing us with like um, surgical masks, at least in my region. And I believe that we have like the more, uh, like the N95s coming in. But again, there's uh, a delay because the demand is everywhere and the need is everywhere. So we do the best that we can and you know, the job, the work doesn't stop. And just the thought, of interacting with a child in full gear and a mask and all that, it can be a little scary for children. You know, I, I, I draw attention to the fact that I am wearing something out of the ordinary and I kind of make a joke of it and let the kids know, like kind of a little playful with it. Like, you know, I know I look silly, I look like a like an alien, I look like a robot, you know, I'll make a funny noise or whatever. And I'm like, you know why though? Like, you know, just taking an opportunity to kind of educate and in a sense normalized, so it's not a terrifying, another terrifying factor for the child. I have seen a decline in the amount of investigations that are coming in right now. Not to say that um, child abuse has stopped, quite the contrary. The fact that schools are out, uh, doctor's offices are closed, um, service providers are closed as well. So the normal people that lay eyes on our families in the community Aren't, don't have the ability to see these children. If you do see anything that would be concerning, don't hesitate to call the child abuse hotline.